A data differences between the transaction system and the conservation system can lead to delay in the month end close process, as well as issues with the auditor. This can traditionally happen in a consolation package that works from Business Warehouse or Excel Upload functionality. Group reporting delivers an integrated solution where both transaction data and consolidation data are stored in the same system. Hello, I hope you're having a good day. My name is Dick Pelican and I work as a SOP Finance Consultant for McCoy & Partners. For around nine years, I worked on multiple customers in their first industries. SAP introduces with group reporting a new real-time consolidation solution, which is directly integrated into S4HANA, allowing you to quickly load data into consolidation and the ability to drill down to source documents in accounting directly, along with other improvements like shared master data and integrated into company matching. Before diving into the demo, I want to briefly show the architecture of group reporting. See also the slide that now appears on the screen. As seen in this picture, as for HANA, both the accounting data and consolidation data are stored in the same system. Via the cloud solution, group reporting data collection, also the non-financials can be sent. Reporting is available both in the s hana system as via a SAP Analytics Cloud, where more sophisticated reports can be built. Via this end-to-end -end demo, I want to take you to the group reporting consolidation process and show the new capabilities which SAP s hana offers. We will show the data monitor and the consolidation monitor. See also the slide that will now appear on the screen. The data monitor is where the data is imported from SAP or from the non-SAP entities. Uh, exchange rate is done and converted to group currency. And the consolidation monitor is where the consolidation processes take place like the intercompany eliminations and the consolidation of investments. We will now go to the demo. So now we will demo the data monitor. This is where we will load uh, the data for the SAP entities and non-SAP entities. So we opened the data monitor in the system. We will start by releasing uh, the journal. So we'll load the SAP entities into the consolidation system. So we'll start the release universal um, task. Select both entities and load the data. This will load the data into the consolidation system. Now we will do an Excel upload for a non-SOP entity. So here we will select an Excel upload and load this into the system so that also our non-SAP entity data is now available. So we'll see that the load is done successfully. Uh, SAP has done some additions on the data, but the data is accepted as it is. Now we'll go to the next task. So I will close the release universal journals and close the data load via Excel and go to the next step, which is validate the universal journals. This validates the SAP data, if it's technically correct. So is the balance zero and things like that. Now we'll calculate the net income. Here we will uh, determine the result of each entity. So we see that for our first entity, we made a profit of around 200K. We'll also close this task. Now we'll return the validations. This will, um, on a functional perspective, check the data, like uh, checking if asset depreciation is the same on the balance sheet as it is on the PL, and checks along those lines. So we see it's successful for all three entities. And we'll go back to the data monitor, close this task. We here have the possibility to make manual adjustments by making a manual posting. For now, we'll not do this. We also have the task currency translation because all our three entities are uh, euro entities. It's not necessary to do a currency translation. And this is decided based on entity. The last task is again the validation of the journals. Uh, this is the same as the initial validation, only the difference is that now it's after the manual corrections and the currency translation. And now we are at the end of the data monitor. So now the data monitor is finished. As you can see, all three of your entities are now turning green and also our group world is set to green, meaning the data monitor tasks are completed. And the data is ready for the consolidation process in the consolidation monitor. So now that we run the data monitor and the data is loaded for all our three entities, we can go to the consolidation monitor where the consolidation task will take place. So the first four tasks that we see here are intercompany eliminations. So I will start the first four tasks by doing the run successive tasks. It will now execute the first four tasks and we'll go to the log of the intercompany elimination of balance sheet. 
So the intercompany customers and vendors adjustments. So as we see here, we see two triggering items at the bottom of the screen. And um, yeah, two adjustments are posted where the intercompany um, customers and vendors are adjusted and eliminated for the consolidation process and posted to the elimination account ending with a D. You here also have a manual elimination task, which we will skip. Now we have uh, three tasks for the consolidation of investments. So here the adjustments will take place uh, for the investments and the, the relation between the entities. We will go here to the log and look into the consolidation of investments uh, for the 9900 entity, which is a minority interest. So now we will look into the consolidation of investments. We will go into the log of the 990 entity, which is for 80% in this group. And we see um, that this is adjusted on the balance sheet. So we'll see that there is uh, that the investment is offset of 400,000 and the issued capital on the other side is offset as well. Then we see the result for the current period. So there's a 25,000 result. And because 80% is in this group, 20,000 stays within this group and 5,000 is corrected because it's outside of this group. And the adjustment is posted. Then we have the possibility to do a manual elimination. We will skip that for this step. And then again, there's the data validation task where we again uh, validate the data on its uh, functional correctness. So uh, are the correct movement types used? Um, yeah, is asset depreciation in line on the balance sheet and on the profit and loss side? And after this is run, uh, the consolidation process is completed. So now we see that the group turns green and the consolidation process for this current period is done. So after the consolidation is done, we will look into the reporting side of the group reporting solution. We here have a, a report of the, the balances and the profit and loss of the entities we just consolidated. And a big advantage of the, the group reporting solution is that we can go to the underlying postings also in the S4HANA system. So we'll here select um, the other payables account and jump to the underlying postings. This is not in the constellation system. The system knows uh, these postings are from the source system. So it will go directly to the underlying accounting entries and the system will open these accounting entries. So we will see it's caused by two postings. We will drill down to the underlying posting. So for example, to see who posted this and what's the reason for this posting or to jump down to, for example, a specific vendor invoice. We here see that this is the underlying vendor invoice that costs this item. So what are your thoughts about group reporting? Leave your comments below and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more interesting S4HANA topics. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Goodbye.